Hey Aries, welcome back. For those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, we're going to get into your reading. We're going to see messages from someone that is showing up in your energy. Messages from their heart and soul. Um, we're going to see where their feelings and their emotions lie for you and what the overall outcome is going to be. So do take what resonates. Never force anything to fit. But make sure you always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings. I want another deck and I can't seem to find it. Give me one second, guys. All right, found it. Okay, so I'm going to pull from multiple decks to make it as personal as possible. So do stick around to the very end. And as most of you know, I'm giving away three free personal love readings for the month of October. All you need to do to participate in my monthly giveaways is go ahead and subscribe. And then you'll also get daily notifications of all the readings that I post. Um, new and returning subscribers, leave the word gift or a gift emoji down below in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine from now until the end of October. And then with the end of each month, the giveaways are different each month, but at the end of each month, I will randomly choose those people to win the giveaway. And I'll always remind you to check that little bell top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage because three people will be hearing from me. All right, let's get it. All right, I was about to cut the deck and pull because nothing was falling out. And then a few fell out at one time. Past life connection. Card of 71, which is eight. Eight is the symbol of infinity. When I am with you, I feel as if time just stops and it's just me and you against the world. You feel like home to me. You understand me and I understand you. See that clock right above their head? That is divine timing. Something occurring within perfect timing, divine timing. Then we got forgiveness. I am seeking your forgiveness even if I can't utter the words. I'm trying to also forgive myself for treating you unfairly. This person is definitely regretful for the decisions they've made, for their actions. And I feel that this forgiveness is coming from past lifetimes. Chaser was in reverse. I really feel a runner and a chaser, a cat and mouse game. I feel Aries and cross watchers, you can take that energy as it applies, but I feel it's like you made the effort. You did what you could to show up in this person's life. You knew that this person stood out from other people in your life. You felt that past life connection. You felt something deeper and on a whole different level with this person. But at some point you felt like you were chasing after this person. But I do feel that there is reminiscing. The memories of us bring me joy, but agony at the same time. I think about you continuously. All right, let's get deeper. Spirit, what else do you have for Aries and the person showing up in this reading? Yeah, there is someone circling back around. Someone who feels like the distance between the two of you in energy. The someone who someone who's fearing like you're going to be the one that gets away. Energetically, this person is starting to feel the distance. And I do feel a circling back. You or the querent, a person you already know. Girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. There is an aha moment going on within this reading. Yeah, and there it is. The past life connection. Now this does say twin flames, but if you go deeper down, it says soulmate connection. But this is union, 1111. 
Look at this. There it is, the couple. Both of you facing one another. Both of you open to this connection. This is divine feminine and divine masculine energy showing up. So strongly, I'm picking up on a twin flame connection within this reading, but also it can be a soulmate connection. Let's see. I'm going to pull from a different couple different decks for feelings and emotions, messages that they have. So let's see what we can get from this deck. Because of you, I'm starting to see what is really important in my life. Here's another 11. We have 11, 11 showing up twice. Love, like ours, can change the world. That's why that person is circling back around. I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good. Remember I said that you're going to be the one that gets away? And I never, I, I really don't use the phrase circling back around. So we're going to do their feelings and emotions for you. Their thoughts and what the overall is outcome is going to be. Alright Aries, the person showing up in this reading. Showing up in Aries energy. feelings and emotions knight of pentacles so we do have earth energy here um you may know them as a virgo taurus capricorn or they have that in their chart this person is coming towards you they're moving very slow it is actually the slowest moving energy of of all of the of the deck um i do feel that this person is working on their own comfort and their own stability as making their way towards you working on their finances um this may be someone who is just beginning their career, just beginning their journey in terms of what they want to do throughout their life. Um, they're not afraid to work. You know, they have that, you know, they have that, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, they always have like a thought in their mind of how to, do better, to work harder, to be better. It's like, it's just a conscious journey of always feeling accomplished, of always feeling succeeding. And, and this person coming towards you, it's because they're working on their stability, they're also working on their self-worth level. This person has long-term to offer. Where their thoughts are, long-term. As I stated, they can see themselves long-term with you. Ten of Pentacles. They may even have their own business or run a family business. Um, but again, they have their own finances. They may even be wealthy for some of you. You may have two dogs. They may have two dogs. Or you may have a dog and they may have a dog. And But just, it's the comfort level. It's the long-term. Overall outcome. Princess of Wands in reverse, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords. All right. So I do feel in the very near future, the two of you still working on fulfilling yourselves. I do feel independently, both of you focused on yourselves. Nine of Pentacles is working hard is, you know, is the single card. This is self-love. And I feel this person coming through, yes, they are going to circle back around and there is going to be a moment that both of you are open to taking this further, this connection, knowing that there's something very deep between the both of you. But it's just... I feel in this reading, it's not the proper timing. I feel they're still working on their own 
stability and support. They think about you all the time. Let's see what else we can get. I feel what you don't know is that they are always thinking about you. It's like they lie awake, lie awake at night thinking of how this is going to transpire when they decide to come forward. How are they going to make that move? The world. The Five of Cups. The Knight of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. And Justice. Yeah, this person is in the energy of you may feel pushed away by them, but it's like they're standing their ground. They're overcoming challenges within them. You know, like I said, they're embarking on furthering their own, you know, feeling grounded on their own journey. If they don't feel grounded in who they are, how can they offer anything long term to you? They want a successful brand new chapter with you and they are missing you. Knight of Wands, it's if they were to take action right now, it would be based on the passion that they feel with you, the chemistry that they feel with you. But with the Knight of Wands, and I know you've heard me say this for those of you returning, Knights kind of get challenged too much when talks of commitment and relationship come up and then they tend to back away. That's what I feel. They can to you right now that's the type of energy they would be in you have nothing to do with that they're not backing away from you per se they're backing away because they still have other things to focus on um i do feel an opportunity coming and i do feel a contract i do feel a higher level of commitment i feel a balancing of the scales it being fair for both of you not just one-sided this also could be the two of you moving in together or getting engaged. Or let's just start with being exclusive. Seven of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So it's, it's like the challenges that you're experiencing now will be worth fighting for. It will feel like it was worth the effort. Let me say, Spirit... What is the mutual energy? Yeah, there is love here. The mutual energy, as I stated, I was about to say between Aries and their person and the Ace of Cups slid right out. What action is this person going to take towards Aries spirit? There it is. Manifesting you. Knowing in their intuition, again, that there is something deeper. Following their intuition. They're thinking about you just as much as you're thinking about them. There's that infinity sign that we started off with that goes with the past life number. Remember it was 71. 7 and 1 is an 8. And I just heard history repeating itself. The two of you were together in a prior lifetime. You were together. You were in union. This person might have stated that you feel like home to them. But I feel the aha moment is about to happen. All right. Let's see. Sorry, guys. My phone just fell off the table. Feelings and emotions. Things that this person is hiding from Aries. What is it that this person is not communicating, hiding from Aries? All right, let me get the one that fell on the floor. All right, we have, I'm done playing games, taking it back to the chaser type energy that came out, that game of cat and mouse. I'm battling inner demons. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I regret lying to you. Like I said, they're about to, when they do open up, they're going to be very honest with you. 
It's going to be an emotional confession. It's going to be an emotional discussion. The next time they reach out to you, it's going to be divinely guided, but I feel like you're going to be on the phone for long-term hour, like maybe an hour or more. Just think, you know, talking about what the two of you experienced, how the two of you ended, and how to move on not playing the game of cat and mouse. But I do feel the opportunity is coming. All right, let's see. Spirit, can I please have a card of timing? So we have the page of cups here. Water energy. So it could be around Pisces season, which is the end of February, beginning of March. It could be during... Um, Scorpio season, which we are, as soon as we get through Libra season, we're going to be entering into Scorpio season, end of October, beginning of November, or it could be during Cancer season, end of June, beginning of July, depending on when you see this reading. But I do feel a divine presence here. But there is a reason this person weighs on your mind. Aries, it's not because you're crazy. It's because the two of you connect in lifetimes following one another. I do feel you were connected to this person in union in previous lifetimes. All right, let's see what else we can get. We have G, B, A, I, E. Blank Scrabble Tile, O, N. So take what resonates, leave the word gift or get or the emoji gift down in the comment section so that I can tune into just your energy and you can take part in the giveaway. Um, anytime you want me to focus solely on your energy, someone you may be thinking about or trying to find guidance on, um, the link to my Etsy shops in the description box. I have lowered the prices for now all my readings, and it's completely open and stopped. Love and light, Aries.